Hey everyone, Tragic here with another lot from shopgoodwill.com. This one is a little bit smaller than my normal ones. I'll try to go for like a big bulk box and pick through um, because when there's smaller amounts like this, uh, maybe there's not so many chances, but um, all these boxes here seem to be labeled with like deck names, uh, even though they're probably not sleeved then if they are these old pre-con decks. Um, looks like hopefully they've been souped up a bit with stuff like this Birds of Paradise. There's a foil Titanic Growth, Vengeful Archon, Praetor's Grass. There's rares in here. Lord of the Undead is always a good card for sure. Um, so that's all it's shown. Um, they had a lot of approximately 685. That's a pretty specific approximation for the amount of cards that might be in here. Who knows? So we're going to open this up and find out. I uh, paid 76 for this uh, with some shipping. I think it ended up being about 84 bucks. So, without further ado, let's open the box. This one came from Santa Rosa, California. And hopefully there's some good stuff in here. Now, this one has a name, it says fairies on it. Maybe there's some fairies in there. I mean, that would kind of be the, the hope that it is what it says on there. So here is uh, the bottom half of a fat pack box with the rest of it. So we got goblins, kithkin, discard, black, red, elemental, and equipment. There, the possibilities are almost endless let's check out this fairy's deck box and see if there's any hope or if we're just gonna get hosed here um, let's go so I don't think there's any fairies in Innistrad block is there nope so that's gonna be Innistrad Commons I'm just gonna shuffle through quickly if that's okay, we're gonna do some Zendikar stuff. It's quite possible that they just took a few rares and threw them on the top to make it look good. Um, Vines of Vastwood is a good card, so we'll go ahead and pull that. Um, that does not look too promising. Looks like some pure bulk. Might as well just go through this. Okay, well that was quick. Nothing in that one. Boo, hiss. We're hoping for better than that in some of this other stuff, so. Con there's that Lord of the Undead. And the Decimator Web. We'll just pull all these rares. So this is all of what was shown. There's the Birds of Paradise. So th is this the entirety of the goods in this? lot it very well could be might as well just do it the right way here and start going through this stuff yeah if if that's what they've done and they literally just put those few good cards on there then we can cross this particular goodwill off of our list but just hold on hold on we'll go through it all first and see how we do at the end. Timely reinforcement, so that's worth pulling. Well, that is how it goes. I'm gonna go through the rest of this, of course. And then we'll know who not to buy from. There's a lightning bolt, so that's okay. A 
discard, which is, I think, what I should have done with this lot. Guess verdict, we'll pull that. Gut shot, I think used to be a little bit, but not really. Mine crank, that's worth looking at. This one doesn't have a label. I think I can figure out what's probably gonna be in here though. It's even worse, it's all basic lands. Two more, this one says Kithkin. There's not even any good Kithkin to begin with. And I bet we're not even gonna get any in this. Well, there's actually a rare in there. It's a mere reservoir. Preordain, some a little bit of pay dirt there. So they didn't get all of it. I'm not sure, like this probably came in like this. Like I don't think that Goodwill actually stuffed these boxes like this, but they sure did know exactly which cards to put on the the front to get you all excited about it and think that uh, there might be more good stuff in there so tragic's a sucker this time but I do this so that you don't have to be next time not even any uh, Delver of Secrets there Last box, this is the Goblin's box. Wow, actually a good card right there. A Shadowmoor Drove of Elves, and an Imperious Prefect, and a Heritage Druid. Wow, I'm amazed that at the end there was actually a little bit there. Yep, Heritage Druid, okay. Shield of the Oversoul, that's a decent enchantment. Uh, Presence of Gond is a good card, I think, right? Chandra's Spitfire. I didn't realize this was a reprint. I've been playing this one in Standard, and this whole time it's actually a reprint. That's actually a good swamp with that art, with the moon in the middle like that. So we'll pull that one. But that actually does it. This is our hopeful pile right here. That was uh, pretty bad of goodwill to hose us like that, I have to say. So be back to scan this up in a minute and with my final thoughts. All right, here we go to scan these up. I gotta be 84 bucks. But I don't know if it's going to happen, so... And of course, as usual, anything that's under 90 cents is going to come off anyway. Lord of the Undead is actually probably our big winner right there at 12 bucks. Okay, there were 17 cards that were over 90 cents for a total of $55.91. Did not break even. And in fact, uh, pretty much the best cards were the ones that were shown. Um, so that's the way it goes sometimes it's a little rotten of the goodwill of the redwood empire to do it like that and uh, i noticed that uh, on some of their other lots here um, if you look at these are live right now they are 
they're they're doing sort of the similar stuff. They're showing you a big batch, and then um, down in the cars they pulled all of the rares and they're showing them off, um, which is it's a tactic that is probably not cool. Um, they don't say anything about the fact that they pulled all the rares out and are showing them off. So um, same for this other listing here they've done the same thing too. On this one here there's probably a bunch of bulk I guess you would just be aware to look for that couple of nature's wills right there those are good cards and all the rares. Um, it does seem like they're basically pre-picking everything so uh, with the Redwood Empire make sure you don't pay for more than what you can see that's just the way it goes so anyway Thanks for watching. Hopefully it was informative. You guys have a good one.